This video is how to install the Final Nights using Steam. So the first thing you always do, and this will screw you up right from the beginning if you don't do it, is delete all of your old files. So you have to go, because we're using Steam, we have to go into Steam Apps, Common, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and delete that. You also have to go into your save files, wherever you have your save files, which is probably under Games and delete those two. You always want to delete all of your uh, save files and uh, all of your all of the files. So before I did this, I went out to um, Steam and I deleted Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and then I deleted all of the files connected to Bloodlines. So I, I'm going to uh, now reinstall Bloodlines. So here I am reinstalling Bloodlines and while I'm doing that, I'm also going to go out and try to turn off any automatic updates under properties here. Any automatic updates from Steam, because Steam will just destroy your games. Um, yeah, you just click on properties and then just try to turn off everything you can. Turn off auto everything. Um, good luck with that, because Steam doesn't want you to be able to turn things off. but. Uh, make make an effort so look down through your options and see what you can Click on this thing. You might have to get uh, permission from Windows to install it. Just tell it Windows to install it anyway. You know, it, it kind of resisted me. Um, I had to give it like permission, that sort of thing. Told me there might be a problem. I told it install it anyway, and it did. So yeah, install it. Click on the button. It took about uh, 12 minutes. So through the power of editing, okay, and eventually I got this. So the Final Nights 1.5 HD install program. Yes, please. You can go look at all this stuff. Um, Click next. I understand. Yeah, next. Okay, this thing. When you get here, you have to put the location of your game. And the way to do it is just highlight this, copy and paste. Don't sweat it. Just copy and paste. Done. And it will work perfectly. Copy, paste. Yep, we're done. Don't have to worry about what it says. It's going to go here. 
So, and your game under Steam is going to be under Steam Apps Common, just like it always is. So, so through the power of editing, didn't take very long. Done. Now begins the sort of, but not very tricky part. You have to create a uh, desktop. But first, uh, Zero Morph wanted to point out that you need to read the, the Final Nights file, and also the installation instructions and the things you have to type in are there. So, yeah, go take a look at the uh, the game and, uh, and his, um, yeah, what he's written. So, we have to create a desktop uh, shortcut. So, create a shortcut, and then just drag and drop that onto your desktop. Now, we want to change the name, so rename. I'm just going to call it the Final Nights. You can call it the one, the Final Nights 1.5, whatever. You can also change the icon um, if you want. So, properties. Now, this is the crucial part right here. And if you're going to screw up, it's going to be here. Target. Target has to be absolutely, without a doubt, exactly this. So... It's got to be after the quotation marks that, you know, is default. You put a space, dash, type game, then another space, and then TFN. There is no space between the dash and game. So after the quotation, space, dash, game. If you put space, dash, space, game, you're going to get nothing. You're going to get a big nothing, goose egg. So... Yeah, if anyone screws up, it's going to be there. So, yeah. So there it is. The quotation mark is close quotes is default. Then you have to put space. So, and here's, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to skip some of the introduction stuff. But you just click on it and the game opens after the introduction stuff. And it's best viewed at 12, 1920 by 1080. So you go to video, 1920 by 1080. Okay, and then you have to exit out uh, for it to apply. But when you do, it will apply the next time it did for me. I also turn the gamma up because uh, when I make videos, it's darkened. I think, if I remember correctly, environmental effects need to be turned off or you're going to get all kinds of weird background noise. So, 1920 by 1080. Did I have to do it twice to make this? Or did I just not exit? Okay, but then, then when I went back, like I quit the game, went back. There we go. Should be, should be good to go. Yeah, this, this screen, by the way, looks great. I mean, this just looks really good. So you click on it. I'm not editing. This is what happens. Um, this just looks terrific. It sounds terrific. I mean, it's just... Um, yeah, the characters look great. The... Yeah, I mean, this screen just looks just amazing. Um, let's take a look at the characters. I mean, this is an install, but man, you get here. This just looks so good. Um, followers of set. Yeah, th th these clans have been changed. Their disciplines have been changed. But, but what I noticed is how they look has really been upgraded. Um, the visual quality has, has just been dialed up to another level. So, yeah, when, when you get to this point, you're going to be very pleased. Okay, that, those were the male characters. Some of them, yeah, some of them look just so much better, male and female characters. This is the best looking character in both games. Look at those eyes. That's just, yeah. Yeah, there's the character I played last time. She looks even better. Love her. She's terrific. There's the ugliest character in both the vanilla and the final nights. Uh, she should be completely replaced because she's supposed to be the most beautiful character, 
and she is the ugliest character. I don't know, uh, the Samidi give her a run or the Nosferatu, but yeah, that character looks great. That character looks great. They all, yeah, so many of them look just terrific. Um, highly, highly recommend. Um, boy, if th this, this, I'm excited to play the final night and you should be able to get to this screen if you followed all the instructions. So 1920 by 1080. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, not a terribly long uh, loading screen to get into the game. It just, you know, it, it. I don't have the fastest computer, and this was, you know, this was fine. And, um... Yeah, I recorded this as an MP4 file. The previous one was an AVI file. Um, the MP4 file is, of course, smaller, more compressed, and it looks it looks even better, I think, than the AVI, AVI file, which is supposed to be the better file. So, yeah, I hope this gives you an idea of how the game should look. I know YouTube is going to um, damage the video quality but uh, this is how it should look. The music sounds great. Yeah, I'm certain. I'm planning on playing another playthrough in a couple months before uh, before Bloodlines 2 comes out. Because once Bloodlines 2 comes out, you know, it's probably the only thing I'm going to play for the next couple years. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, these characters just look. Yeah, I meant I meant not to spend time on this. Yeah, that that is the best looking character in either version of the game. And part of it is the eyes, part of it is the outfit. I mean, it's just it looks so good. Zero Morph, you did a terrific job. And I've only gone into the character um, screen. I haven't done. I haven't played 1.5 yet, but it looks amazing. So anyway. Uh, I hope this helped, and uh, good luck.